Sup shooters, my name is Logan AK Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we're going to be reviewing a couple of tracks from an act named Mita. And if we switch over to here, before we begin, I'm, I spent a long time getting this green screen sorted over the last 24 hours because yesterday it was playing up. So I'm hoping that the green screen looks a little bit better today. Um, these two tracks that we're going to be listening through today are off of the Flighting uh, EP that is upcoming from Meta. Meta, I think. Um, these are two tracks or diss tracks, so I think we need to offer a little bit of uh, context on them. So we've got Ghost Renee Diss, which is the first diss track off of the Fly Ting uh, record here. My understanding with the uh, situation with, uh, you know, Ghost with Little Shift. I just said Ghost Shift because that was the name of the song, but it's little about Little Shift. And uh, Ghost Renee here coming in to back him up, I suppose. Lots of spam reposts. This is probably the weakest to UP. Stay away from the negative energy. So my understanding is that Ghost Renee is saying, yo, and he talks about some colonist stuff here. It is common for European colonists to like negativity. Got to break out of that, especially. Uh, it's always great to lecture someone on positivity and the importance of the day. It's, it's great work, especially uh, when it is uh, not something that's particularly asked for. Uh, successful measured by the bias standards of bias colonists. Uh, and then he backs off with, don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. I wasn't trying to have a contest because actually where you're on 50 years is unrelated to the point I was making. Wow, okay. I, I'm not really sure where this went, but we've also got a little shift here. This. Uh, individual in a, in, a, in a hospital bed, which uh, I'm genuinely sorry to hear that he's unwell, um, who is, it's got slightly smaller followership than Little Chef and uh, new to writing lyrics and making songs, hoping to get the order quality better soon. And uh, you can do cash app donations if need be to help him buy some equipment. This is truly an alternate sort of uh, universe that I am not personally familiar with. I'm still getting my head around diss tracks. Like I understand the base concept of them, but understanding the context for why they're appropriate and where they are is important. My understanding is just that basically this starter track was about a little shift. Ghost Renee got involved. Um, I think Ghost Renee is, is also a musician who's doing lots of stuff. Like this one here with like 20,000 rappers involved and it's a seven and a half minute track. And to be fair, it's got a bit of love, but that that's okay. Anyways, that's that's just a bit of context as I understand it about the situation. We're gonna listen through his first track, Ghost Renee, from start to finish here, what we think. We've got a link to the beat here as well. Who's the beat by? Um, Magstick Records, rap beats, hip hop instrumentals. Cool. It's good to hear meter crediting who makes the beats. Um, it really sucks when I review music and I don't know who made it. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, thank you, Mita. But let's see how this from start to finish here, what we think. Let's go. Yeah, the space bar works. Start the seance, are you here with me? Ghost Renee, say something. Can you see in here from beyond the grave, homie? You know me, it's me that the Grim Reaper imposes. I'm here to take you to the afterlife, cause your career is over. Must be an emotional time for you. Get tears dropping. Nice to see a flow come from your face that isn't choppy. Stop the sobbing and apologizing. I don't make the final decisions. The fans are vicious when they're picking out a victim. If you okay, so if we look through this verse first, actually, no, I should probably do the verse at the end, shouldn't I? Should I do the lyrics at the end or should I do them as we go through? So basically, he's saying Ghost Renee's dead. The Grim Reaper of poses. Emotional time for you. Nice to see a flow come from your faces and choppy stop the sobbing and apologizing. I don't make the final decisions. The fans are vicious when they're picking up the victim. So he's basically in a sea of sharks at this point in time. Decision. Nice to see that you've been following through. But then you argue with Chef after I split him in two. You want attention, then just ask for the truth. I'll write you down too. Okay, you're a gun broker. The second half is sure. Believe your heart. Wait, I don't get it. So like, did Chef argue with with um renee is that right streets, that's what the little blue bills for your rhyme schemes are flighty and reduced my beats and voice nice but overproduced you sound like a little wing is choking out or choking on choke try not to drip all deep throat in a dude that's spitting tunes and i don't call that shit a comeback i just call it rude if it were me then i'd have asked you from my dollar back Ooh. your visage invisible oh i get it now ghost nobody sees it here's the thing you say ashamed to be honest i gotta give it to your lyrics man i like where you're going yeah i could see you lifting spirits as you open my show I like the beat and how it works with the lyrics, that's fairly dope. Yeah, it's nice to hear it. 
It's great to hear it. As a realist, restless for days, realizing rap is just a poem that's spoken beats underlaid. You're robbing kicks to grace and shoes, snakery and sneakery, bragging you're exclusive, but just because you have to be. Your tracks cost what you put in, nothing. You come oh, the shit. the mountain, you're bluffing. Your music's unique for a reason, it sucks. You see how awful this style sounds? Cut. Rent a finit. Hey, I like that. I like how it cuts like that. It's okay. Um, full disclosure, I, um, I did some work on meters stuff uh, some production stuff i'm not sure if he's using the version i did or if he's using another version he got another person to work on it either way man it sounds dope i'm really happy with it not to be so goddamn negative or spouting that is i get it now right was in the end and i've been sharing truth and cleaning up the fucking game on railway you've been nodding off inside a mouse you bring the knock in and your bars are filled with so much skin you can't complain a song yourself without consulting tony ends kid spits Oh, I get it. Right, I understand the context of it. So he's really sort of shitting on them because he can't carry a track on his own, right? Mass, boo, Gleeco, prophecy. How is this all just one track, my dude? You got yourself a baseball team in California, Keaton in the booth. Okay, I get the context now. That's cool. We host together. Thus, the match just wrap up, wrap this up, and let you pass on to the afterlife. This ain't inspired. I like the energy you bring into the mic. But if there's something that I learn when biting rappers on the beat, it best be funny or the truth. Because in the wash, the dirt complaining and when you're killing cattle, they all hurt. And best believe they all got beef since I don't want to see the teeth i'm a bury deep cool sweet that sounds really dope it's nice and fresh i have to admit some of the stuff i listened to from ghost renee and little chef was not as well produced um but you know like um that's regardless of my involvement in it by the way um this is of course you know i like my release i'm assuming he probably got someone else to do some work on it but um you know either way i, I think a lot of the stuff in this track is valid um, you've got that single sort of musical theme that comes in and out, that instrumental that meters rapping over. I think it works well. Uh, you know, you heard the lyrics yourself. The guys clearly got away with them, uh, with, with the words, and um, got a sense of humor as well. I, I think a lot of this stuff makes sense now more so than when I was like working with it. I get the context with it, so I appreciate having that. It makes sense for this track, and I think it's well done. We have got the ox ox pied. This um, this is ox pied. They make like Bruce Wayne stuff by Tyro the Pyro. And uh, Suffering Silence, which was, I understand, it's one of those kind of like emo rap kind of releases from the 2010s where like instead of the rock music that you had in like the mid-2000s, 2000, mid-2000s, mid-noughties, you have the kind of trap beats and people were sort of suffering in silence. I'm not trying to make fun of it. It seems like they're having a really rough time, but hopefully they're doing better now, you know? Anyways, we got a diss track here. The occupied this. Let's let's do this. Track uh tra track number two. Off of the flighting. Oh that 808 is nice. Hey Bats, whoops I mean Dylan, sorry my mistake almost confused you for a dude with fans to lose whose words have weighed, I waited through your playlist waiting patiently for greatness, but your lyrics only graded as my faith in music faded, it's amazing that I found the tracks you dropped, I mean your droppings, that's more fitting since the only time I've said your name is when I'm shitting occupied. Damn man, this is going for the throat immediately dude. It seems kinda pricey for the lines you lay, I think you owe the 30 bots who heard your track some hazard day. Oh shit, man. Oh shit, calling out people who use bots. You know, like if there's one thing that's killing the industry, it's people using bots to get plays. And I know and when I've talked to people on in interviews, I've had artists and musicians justify to saying, well, how am I supposed to get a hit if I don't use them? And it's like, I get it. Maybe your first track, you use bots just to get some attention. Especially because like, even if you release a track that's phenomenal, there's so much, so many people releasing music that like you can't get exposure, right? One track, but then people just keep paying for it. And then, because it's like, oh, but my first track got 100,000 plays because I paid for it. My second track hasn't got 100,000 plays, so people will think that it's weaker than the first. How am I supposed to grow my channel? And then they just continue to do that like negative loop where the only person that's really profiting are the people that are being paid to do these bots to do these views. It's sad, man. Oh Wait, shit. I hear you saying that you're taking it back. Hey kiddo, you can have it. No one even wants to hear your eardrum beatings. Much less keep them. Maybe we can play the quiet game and be a riot. Honestly, I kind of miss when you were suffering in silence. Trying to play in some politeness that you knocks are known for. Sorry, but I cracked the code and beat you. Bleeding face and while you lay there prone on Al Capone. Just check the scars, you bars. They book me. My garage is ready for a meeting. Leave the north of me. I'm feeding on your corpse. 
I like this beat. I like this beat quite a lot. Who made this one? This was made by Glow Beats. So is this where people get their beats? Wow, they pay like 30 bucks for the beats. It makes so much sense that you can just go to a website and buy them like Amazon or something like that. You'll take a seat and listen gleeful as you're choking on the beat. Yeah, as a joke, you are a winner. Claim to go sure you're a weather. Don't know whether I should nip you in the butt or let you wither. As the weather turns to winter, you'll be stacking racks on snow. Well, I've been snorting from the bottom. Now I'm nosing on your notes. I see your bar is empty, buddy. Need some time to breathe a semi breather while you're at it. Might as well extend that rest to everything. You extend the rest to everything everything down that cuts dude that cuts yeah these are fairly savage heavy diss tracks i understand the context of that now nothing up and busting raps you're blushing at the thought of someone busting on your ass i'll keep on coming till they all see that you're full of it this kingdom come you're just a trick and tripping if you think that anything you say will matter since the splattering of ink and brains is at the base of stage you built the stand upon is empty stripped it naked I feel sad for the dude, honestly. I feel sad for Occupied. That's a that's an absolute roasting. I don't know how you can recover from that. Again, you've got that bomb bomb. There was more range to this uh to this production, I think, than the, than the rest of it. Maybe I just like it more than the previous song. Like, I'm talking about the beats themselves. This one's more somber. It's more um it's kind of more bittersweet. It fits a lot of what's occurring in the lyrics and the vocal performance. And Amita has his style of da 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 ba da da da. He does that kind of thing. <laughs> he raps. I gotta be careful, I don't want to diss track. It's uh but 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 you know, I, I think for the most part, I'm I'm really happy with how the, the music itself works with the lyrics and the song and the and the vocal performance. Um but that's flighting by Mita, the two tracks off of it. I do have an appreciation for what Mita is trying to do here. Clearly, we have a musician who gives a shit about his music that he's making, um, takes the time to find beats that match the lyrical content of what he's trying to create. You know, there's cute little bits of cutting the audio out when he goes like cut and stuff like that. I enjoy the the attitude and personality within this, as long as everyone involved, you know, isn't getting too cut up by it. But maybe that's just the nature of the diss tracks, you know? Maybe that's how it's meant to be. I, I don't know, man. Diss tracks are still an enigma to me, and I'm still getting my head around them. But I did enjoy listening to both of these tracks musically in terms of the way they were produced and stuff like that. I think the vocals did sit well with the mix in regards to the production, because this is, of course, the conclusion. I should probably note that, it just because I forget that it's the conclusion. I never know when to start the start the conclusion. Yeah, we we we. Yeah, I I, I feel sad. Honestly, I feel sad after listening to this. But I know that this is something that Mead is very passionate about, and I also wish him the best of luck in the future. Getting back to what I was talking about with the production, the when you are putting the the beat with the vocals, what you're needing to do is kind of slam the vocals in there somewhere. You're kind of needing to get the vocals to sit with the beat that's already been put together and potentially had some post-processing applied. And then you're needing to put it together again. And while I think that meter has managed to to get this track absolutely has smashed this track done a phenomenal job with the production it's very rare that that occurs often you get a better result for your production if you're able to have the individual elements like the drums the bass and the synths and all that kind of stuff and the vocal chops and the vocals and like a eight track mix and then eq them separately get them to sort of glue together then do maybe put it through like a pro vla2 like i have over here that i got like late last year that's just phenomenal for doing production on and but yeah it, it worked in this situation so all in all this is a fairly not a fairly because I, I don't want to people have told me that when i say fairly it sounds patronizing i don't want to patronize people i don't seem like i'm patronizing people this is a well produced ep it's i don't know when this is gonna be released i don't think the release date is definite yet i don't think it's um like i don't think it's absolutely just a given at this point that it'll be done but like i i, I adore it but that is effectively my review though my review of um meters oh, i've realized that my it's difficult to get my beer in my mouth and the logo at the right height in this camera even though i'm using a better lens than i used to um videos are hard well thank you for watching my review of meters um flighting zp Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show me to some love via his various social medias and his SoundCloud page and stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch you in the next review. Spoilers.
Spider Hands out.